All right, let's turn to the election in France. And this is very interesting. Voters are heading to the polls, and they're going to pick their new president this weekend. They have a choice here between the centrist, the former investment banker from Rothschild, Emmanuel Macron, and they have the far right wing candidate, Marie Le Pen, our very own Ashley Webster. He's in Paris. Good place to be. Pretty good assignment. It should be an interesting one there, Ashley. <laughs> Yes, it is. You know, what's interesting, maybe the two most, well, I want to, don't want to say hated, but not particularly respected candidates, there is a growing sense, uh, Trish, that a larger number of people here in France don't particularly care for each candidate. You know, they certainly don't like Francois Hollande, who's in uh, the uh, president's palace right now, but they're not particularly keen of Marine Le Pen, and they don't seem that particularly keen of uh, uh, Emmanuel Macron. Now, Macron leads uh, handily in the latest polls, 62% to 38%, but what we've been speaking to people on the street, and they say, eh, don't really like either of them. Take a listen to this. I think I'm... And I'm part of the group that neither like uh, Macron or Le Pen. You have to choose uh, between the bad and the bad. No, I, I don't. Uh, I don't vote. I don't vote for a moment. It's my. Uh, um, it's, it's what I prefer, you know. Both of them during the debate, I thought they was they were very bad. One was uh, well, both of them were quite aggressive and. Uh, I didn't feel like uh, very competent. <laughs> so you have to choose, Trish, between the bad and the the bad. Well, actually, there's been some protests today. Some students earlier getting all upset. Uh, the police came in, used some tear gas. Why are they upset? Because they don't like either candidate. So it's a kind of a strange situation. But the, I can tell you that the turnout could be the lowest since 1969. And uh, oh, by the way, Monday is a holiday here in France. They, they love their long weekends. It's actually Victory Day in Europe celebration on Monday. So a lot of people may get out of the city. They probably already left. How many of those are going to vote on Sunday? So how that affects Marine Le Pen and her chances, we'll have to wait and see. But it's a very strange election, one that could have very far-reaching uh, impacts. Yeah, I, I actually think that could help her because I think that the people that are really yes. worked up about the direction France is taking on the immigration front, on the economic front, well, they may stick around. It may be that important for them to get out and vote. Anyway, Ashley, it'll be an interesting weekend for you for sure. Thank you so much.